Okay, we got our fabric pre-shrunk to 250 degrees, got a nice smooth lay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to prep it to glue the top surface on. And what we're going to do, we need to wrap the fabric around the tube. The STC requires a one inch overlap. Very easy to get that around this tube right here. You can stop anywhere and you got your one inch. Down here we got a fairly small diameter tube. But if you check from this point, wrap it around, you're going to find the one inch mark comes about right in here somewhere, which is pretty close. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our pencil, and some people find it easier to use a little compass with a, with a guide edge on it. I use my finger. I establish my, the width of my overlap. And I draw that with a pencil. You can see by doing it like this, you get a very nice straight uniform line. And what we're doing here is establishing our glue line for the overlap on the fabric. And again, all I'm doing here is making me a reference line that I can glue to. Whoop. And again, we just want a somewhat of a uniform line for reference. Maybe we'll pick about this about right here. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and brush glue on this structure around the radius like we did the first time and right up to the edge of our line. And again, you don't want to wrap it too far around. We don't want to get past the uh, transition mark there on the fabric where it leaves where it leaves the, the structure here. We want don't want glue there, so it'll have a very nice smooth lay when the fabric comes off of the piece of tubing. And again, just a nice wet coat of glue. You don't want it soppy and runny. Enough there for the fabric to bed into when we start laying it into the pre-dried glue. Okay, what we'll do, we'll just glue all the way around the perimeter like that. And as soon as that's dry then, we'll come back and we'll demonstrate how to lay the fabric out on this and end up with a very nice uniform trim line on the fabric that doesn't leave a lot of jagged rough edges underneath your fabric that shows through the tape. Okay, we've uh, put our glue on the perimeter of our part. It's dry to the touch now. Got our pre-cut fabric panel laying here. So what we're going to do is go ahead now and demonstrate how to put the second panel on. Pretty much a repeat of the first. What we're going to do is go ahead and just cut and fit like we did on our first panel. The difference is here is how we handle the surplus pieces here after we get our perimeter glued down. All we're trying to do here is just get it tacked into place so it'll stay put while we're working with it. You see that's an easy process. A little bit of pressure from your hand. Okay, got that lightly tacked into place. Now what we'll do is just kind of pull this fan wise, make sure we got the slack out of it. And just kind of Pull it up, tack it into place lightly. Work to pull a little tension in it. Work the wrinkles out of it. Turn it over here. We'll go ahead and just trim around the end here a little bit. Okay, another thing we're going to do is bring our fabric over into the edge of that glue. Alright, now we start with our heat again. 
We're pulling this up around the corner, just like we did before. The one area where you want to lock it down really good is right around the outer perimeter of all of these surfaces. So as we pull that up, kind of pull the wrinkles out of it, we want to make sure this is anchored down and it doesn't start moving on us later. We'll just kind of come around, pull a little tension, make sure that we've got that clamped in place there. What we do is we're just going to take off and start ironing around the perimeter here. And what we're wanting to do is get enough shrinkage here that we can get a real nice smooth lay of fabric right to the edge of our glue seam. This is a pretty tight little area right here. What you don't want to do is pull and stretch that fabric real tight. The main thing is just let the iron do the bulk of the work here for you. Okay, now what makes this really work is that we made a pencil mark and put a glue line. We're going to do exactly the same thing here again. We're going to put a trim line now, which is right at the edge of that original glue line. And right there is where this fabric will trim off. Okay, we finished marking around the perimeter. The next step now is where we pre-iron this real tight. What we're going to do now is just pull all of this nice pretty tape loose. The nice part of what we're doing here, it stops right here where we nail it down with the heat. We just come all the way around. We'll pull this loose around the entire perimeter. So we'll go ahead and continue cutting around this. As soon as we get through, we'll come back and go to the next step in the process. Okay, we've got our perimeter trimmed. You can see this is a little loose fit. What we're going to do now, we just take our iron and just roll it right up around the radius. You can see how nicely that all starts laying right back in there where it was at before. And we're going to go around the entire perimeter like this and then come back and show you what it looks like. But you can see that's almost like a finished edge there right now. We'll go all the way around it and then we'll come back and we'll demonstrate the gluing and wiping one more time. And that will pretty well wrap it up for this panel. Okay, we finished. Our, did our trimming on our edge. We showed you how it lays in. We went ahead, took the iron at the same temperature we shrunk it with. And you can see how this goes ahead and lays down real nice all the way around the perimeter. And this is in place now and it's ready for final gluing. And again that is the same procedure that we've demonstrated in the past. We'll just go through it one more time real quick to just kind of reinforce your memory on that. And you need a towel to wipe with. This wiping is fairly important now because if you get sloppy with this, you're going to have glue lines that are going to show through your finish. What we want to do is just brush glue around the outer perimeter, just like we did on the first lay of fabric. Let it come up past the pink line just a little bit. And while it's still very wet, take your paper towel and just wipe the surplus off. Now this glue that's out past the edge of the pink will not show through your finish. Provided you wipe it off like I'm showing you here, if you have slick shiny spots like this and let that dry, that will definitely show through your finish just like a, a brush mark or a glue line. If you do what we're doing right here, wipe that surplus off, those will never show through your finish. So what you want to do is just go all the way around the perimeter, just like this, brush it and wipe it, and then when it's dry, you're ready then to go ahead and do your first shrink on that, and then at that time, then you can go ahead and go right on through and do your full shrink to 350 degrees, 